Hello, my beautiful savers. Today, I am going to be doing my 100 envelope challenge with $80. Uh, as you can tell, I'm doing a voiceover because the video came out okay, but the audio not so good. So, first of all, I have to tell you, as you can tell, I still have these nails on. Yes, they are still lasting. I'm so excited. I don't know what kind of glue this is, but I am telling you, this stuff is doing magic. I know I could have just put in the $80 into just one envelope, but I know with $80, I can also get a couple of envelopes done. So that's what I decided to do today. So as you can tell, I already spread the money out so that I have an idea of where I wanted to put uh, the money for each envelope. So right now I am pulling out the dollar envelope so that way I can start with that. And in the meantime, while I'm coloring that in, uh, I got to tell you, I went to the K-pop. We wind up going there for Mother's Day. I have to tell you, the K-pop was just as good as it was the last time that I went. Sometimes when you go to a restaurant, you have a good time, you have a good experience, the food is great, and then the next time you go back, it's not so good. So I'm happy to say that everything was just as delicious. The place was just as clean as it was the last time that we went. I did wind up spending more than I expected because my daughters also did go and I didn't take that into account when uh, I had planned out my Mother's Day dinner. Um, also, uh, my daughter's birthday is actually coming up at the end of this week. So it still kind of worked out because it wind up being a Mother's Day and a birthday dinner kind of as a combo. So I will be using some of the money from her birthday to put uh, back into my account to make up the difference. In the end, I know I'm still going to be over the amount of what I budgeted for because I still have to get her cake. She wants an ice cream cake slash... Um, birthday cake and the best place to get that she wanted was cold stone and cold stone cakes can be expensive but they are very good all right so now i am also putting three dollars into the three dollar envelope um i know that the numbers are small but the focus is being able to stuff your envelopes so i am very aware of my budget and i know there are going to be times with uh, the envelopes when I get to like 198, that it's gonna be hard for me to be able to stuff that amount right then and there. So what I think I'm gonna do is, is there gonna be times, say if I have uh, $50, I'm gonna put the 50 into the $100 envelope. And then when I get another 50 or 25, I'm gonna slowly add that in until I get to the 100. And then once I do, I'm going to seal that envelope then. So as you can tell, I'm doing the five and I am now about to do the uh, $6 envelope. You know, this 100 envelope challenge, um, I really, really, really wanted to try this. I know it was going to be hard for me to try to do this 100 envelope challenge, but I know I can do it. Is going to take me longer than I did with the 50 and the 52 envelope challenge, but I'm okay with that. I don't have a time limit of when I finish the 100 envelope challenge. My goal was to at least try to do the 100 envelope challenge. The basket you see here in the envelopes I got at the Dollar Tree. I wind up spending um, $3.75 for everything. It was $1.25 for the basket, and then I got a box of 50, and so I got two of those boxes, and then I just wrote the numbers down on them from 1 through 100. So uh, altogether, this challenge wind up costing me $3.75 just for the envelopes in a basket. I will say, though, the more I look at this basket, I don't like it. So I think um, I am going to take, I'm trying to see if I can find a box that I like. Uh, maybe I'm going to decorate it and then I'm going to put those envelopes into there. 
I don't know, this basket, the more I look at it, it's just not me. I could probably find a small box somewhere because um, boxes are getting thrown out all the time. And I just really just need a small box to be able to fit my envelopes on. And then I'm just going to decorate the box. All right, so let me tell you. Also, I am trying to find, um, well, I did. I wind up getting some sneakers that I liked from Skechers, actually. I went up going to a Skechers outlet and I found some sneakers. The sneakers are very comfortable and so I had planned on going back and trying to find some more of these same sneakers in different colors. Well, the problem is, is that um, with these sneakers, I can only fit a wide width. I really don't understand why. Also, I am filling up now um, the $8 envelope and the $10 envelope. But anyway, these Skecher sneakers, I can only fit for some strange reason in a wide width. And it's only this style. I have bought other sneakers from them that I can fit just fine. But for some strange reason, these real comfortable ones, I can only get in a wide width. I don't understand. How is it that this is a company that literally, that's what they do. They make shoes and sneakers, but they only have one color in a wide width. But if you are like a regular size shoe, they make them in every color under the sun. The sad part is, is that um, they told me check online, the store did. So that's what I did. I checked online. Unfortunately, it's everywhere. Whether you go online or you go in the store, they only sell the one color, a wide width in black online and in the store. All right, so as you can tell, I also just stuffed the uh, $38 envelope. So hopefully I can find some other shoes because that's one thing I realize I don't skimp on is because I'm always on my feet, I will spend the money for a good pair of shoes. You know, when you're on your feet all the time, you got to take care of your feet, your legs, you know, those hips, you got to be able to take care of them because you're going to need them for the rest of your life. So I got to tell you, I got these stickers from the dollar store as well. They are a scratch and sniff. I, when I got that scratch and sniff, it reminded me of when I was younger and we used to have those books and things and you did like a scratch and sniff. And I was like, oh, I got to get these. This reminds me of when I was younger. Well, um, these things kind of smell like grapes, which I don't mind at all. The problem is, is that I think I'm also allergic to them. So every time I start smelling them, I also get a little itchy. My nose starts to itch. So I have to be very careful when it comes to these stickers, um, because I don't want to keep scratching my nose and then I go to work looking like Rudolph. In the winter, it may not be a big deal. You can blame it on the cold, but uh, in May, not such a good look. So if you are still watching, is there a shirt or a pair of pants or sneakers or something like that that you bought and they were so good and so comfortable, you wish that you had bought more than one, but by the time you go back, they don't have any more? because I also did that with a shirt. I have this beautiful, comfortable shirt that I have worn all over the place. When I tell you that this was a good shirt and I always get a lot of compliments on it. The problem is, is that I bought it on an online store. I cannot tell you where this online store is. And I wish I bought more than one of these shirts and I can't even find that shirt anywhere anymore. I'm not even sure if the company still exists anymore. All right, I'm almost done here. So if you are still with me, please put a sneaker down at the bottom in the comments. Or uh, if you don't have an emoji, just put a sneak, just say sneaker down at the bottom. I'll know what you mean. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly, truly, truly appreciate all of you being here. All right, and I do believe, I can't remember, I think it was like nine that I wind up stuffing. I am so proud of that. Look how far $80 took me. 
all right everyone uh i will see you on the next video happy saving bye